Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. You can see this book has won an honor, an award. So that's a good sign, it's a good book. I think you probably already know that anyway. So Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus with the words and pictures by Mo Willems. Here on the end paper is Pigeon dreaming. You see him, he's dreaming of being a bus driver. Oh my goodness, he's enjoying it. He's waving from the driver's window. I'm not sure there that he's doing the right thing with driving with his feet. Hmm. Well, perhaps that's why here's the bus driver. Perhaps that's why he says, hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Will you do that with me? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So there's the bus parked and off the driver has to go. There he is. But do you see who's arriving over here? I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Are we gonna let him? No. Please. Nope. I'll be careful. No. Nope. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus bus almost every day. True story. No pigeon, we're not gonna let you drive the bus, right? Hmm, he's not very happy about that. Vroom, vroom, vroomy vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Do you ever pretend you're driving a car or a bus or a truck? It, but even though he's showing us he knows how to pretend, no, we're not going to let him. No, no. Oh, I never get to do anything. Oh, I'm not sure that's true, Pigeon. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus and I'll go first. Hey, Pigeon, no. No pigeon. Oh, come on. Just once around the block. No, no, no. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? What are you going to say? Nope, nope, nope. No fair. I bet your mom would let me. Hey, if your mom's there, check with her now. I bet she says no. Oh, oh, what's the big deal? It's just a bus. No pigeon, we're not gonna let you. I have dreams, you know. Still no pigeon. Oh, fine. Let me drive the bus. Do you think we're going to change our minds because he's had a tantrum? Mm -mm. No pigeon. And now look at that. He's fuming. See that big black cloud over his head. I'm back. Oh, you didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? We didn't, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. What do you think Pigeon's thinking? Off goes the bus driver. Bye. Oh, look at Pigeon. 
is so sad. Oh. Hey. Well, he was so sad until he saw the next thing that he thinks it would be fun to drive. And look at the end paper at the back of the book. Now he's dreaming of driving a truck. There he is talking on the truck's radio and looking in the mirrors. And he's really a little small, isn't he? But there he is rooming along. <laughs> so that's don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So I mentioned this was a double header, two for one. So here's our second Mo Willems book. I hope you've got time to listen to this one as well. We are in a book. And this one features elephant and piggy. There they are on the cover. The elephant is also called Gerald. We know his name is Gerald, but piggy is always called piggy. <laughs> so we are in a book. And on the end paper, this time it starts with just a picture of Gerald there. And then the title page makes it look like it's Gerald talking, saying the name of the book. We are in a book. And they're both sort of checking out the feeling, the edges of the book. So let's find out what happens in this story. Thank you. Joe's like, what? Who are you saying thank you to? What's going on? Piggy? Yes, Gerald? I think someone is looking at us. Ooh. So they both have a look. Hmm. Piggy's coming to have a closer look. Someone is looking at us. Who is looking at us? Gerald's coming to have a look too. A monster? Mm, no. It is a reader. A reader is reading us. Huh. Well, how is a reader reading us? The reader is reading these word bubbles. See how Piggy's kind of jumped up to be up by the word bubble <laughs> so she can explain to Gerald. We are in a book. Oh, we are in a book? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. <laughs> you see, Gerald yells so loudly, it's sort of blown Piggy away across the page. He's really excited, isn't he? Look, we are in a book. And she's joining in. Yeah, we are in the book. We are being read. Yeah, we are being read. Oh, I have a good idea. I can make the reader say a word. Huh? You can make the reader say a word. Uh-huh. I can, if, if the reader reads out loud. Ooh, that is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is a funny idea. <laughs> Here I go. Ooh, look at Piggy's face. She looks like she's planning to be a little bit mischievous there, I think. Let's see what happens. Oh, she's clearing her throat, look. Ahem. Banana! 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> the reader said <laughs> banana. <laughs> Oh, the reader <laughs> said it again. <laughs> Both laughing now, look. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Banana. <laughs> so funny. Do you want to turn? Before the book ends. Oh, uh, ends. The book ends. Well, yes, all books end. <gasps> when? When will the book end? Mm, I will look. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, see how she's turning the page up to check the number. Page 57. Page 57, but it's, it's page 46 now. <gasps> ah, now it's page 47. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. More words, more jokes, more bananas. I just want to be read. I have a good idea. Oh, that is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Hello, will you please read us again? Look how they're trying to look so sweet. I hope this works. Me too. So of course, if we do go back and read the book again, the first thing Piggy says to us is, thank you. So we could go back and read it again, but you can always replay the recording if you have time to hear the story again. It's a great book to read, isn't it? And here at the end of the book, there's Gerald again. This time though, look at him laughing. And in one of those pictures, can you spot? the pigeons making a guest appearance and tickling Gerald's foot with one of his feathers, which of course is going to make Gerald laugh all the more. So we are in a book with the words and pictures by Mo Willems. I hope you enjoyed this Mo Willems double header of two great stories. The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear by Don and Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood, and published by Child's Play International. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away especially one that has just been picked. 
boom, 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 the bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find that strawberry, no matter where it is hidden or who is guarding it or how it is disguised. Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end.